Oh, hey. What's up, y'all? Aiden here, Aiden's on landscaping. I'm back to another video. I'm in this video. We're gonna be taking the tuna can challenge. What's going on guys? Okay, so if you haven't heard already, we're going to be taking the tuna can challenge. This is not my idea to do. As you can see, I'm perfectly dressed like Alan Hayne, the lawn care nut. Um, if you haven't seen his channel, I will leave a card in the top right hand corner for his video. But he did a similar video on the tuna can challenge and I really liked what he did. So I asked him if I could have permission to reiterate what he was teaching. So. If you watch his, his video, which I linked in the top right corner, it is literally the exact same intro. But anyway, whoop, we got all of our tuna cans cleaned out. And a tuna can, you may ask, why a tuna can? Because a tuna can is about an inch tall, and you know when it's about half of that fill filled that you've put down half an inch of water on your lawn. So you take the tuna cans and you put them in different places in your yard or whatever and I will show you the map that we have for that and um, you turn your sprinklers on and it shows you how to dial in your sprinkler so that you can get water evenly to all your spots so let me go in the garage and I will show you the, um, the plan on what we are using to show you this design catch you guys there Okay, so here's the drawing I did. It is very similar, exactly the same, to Mr. Hain himself. I will leave a little picture of that up here so you can see. But what we do is we have a tuna can here, a tuna can here, a tuna can here, and a tuna can here, which are labeled for our tuna cans. And then we have our sprinkler here that disperses the water. Okay, and this here marks our known dry spots. So this is a known dry spot for me. This up here, and this up here. By the way, this is section one, which is 300 square feet. So I went ahead and redid my sections. So we're treating section one here, which is 300 square feet. And we have that tree there. So, by the way, I did laminate these so that if you ever spill on them, it's all good. But anyway, we're learning our land. So you take this here, and I calibrated my sprinkler to 25 minutes to figure out that to here, 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 it disperses the water evenly because I got this known dry spot corrected in 25 minutes. Now I'm not gonna watch, you're not gonna watch me water the entire thing, but you're gonna watch me set it up, show you how to irrigate this area with your tuna cans and calibrate a sprinkler that is not a sprinkler system, like a sprinkler system you have to set up yourself to this so you can have 25 minutes. So let's get out there and let's actually get down the water and show you how this works. Okay guys, so we're taking our map outside and using our map, we're gonna put the tuna cans in an average area to figure out how long it takes to get down one half inch of water. So you got the plan here, it's a little windy today, so I'm gonna put it down, put a rock on top of it. It looks like we need, let's just do two cans for now. And we're gonna put one right down in here. Make sure they sit in level too, because that will affect something if your water isn't getting access into them. We'll put one right down here. All right, now let's go back, get the other two. And one, two, we will put one down in here and one over here right by this trip okay so the sprinkler of choice today is gonna be my impact sprinkler this is just a cheap one from Home Depot where up here you adjust the dial and I will show you how the stream sprays out and then this down here is how you adjust which direction it pitches in. I was gonna use this uh, isolating sprinkler here, but um, it takes too long to put down a half an inch. So if I could recommend any sprinkler to you, probably be the impact. Impact to get the water down the fastest. Okay, so let's show you where the cans are. One, two, three, four. Now I'll walk here with the plan. Just like the plan says, one, two, three and four. Okay guys, let me put the camera on the water 
and I will show you it down there. In. That's good because look when you come this way. It just throws the water right over. But it moves quick. And then it just throws it right over to the line. Although we need to do a little bit of work and tighten this one up and um, let it adjust open a little bit more on this side. There's nothing about I can do about it throwing the street over here. Because I have the, th the stream dialed in. Like I need it to go further down there, but I can't dial it in any smaller. Like this is as fine as the stream can go that it can reach all the way up there. So let me put this down for a second, adjust the problem that we have here, correct this problem, and then we'll get right back with you. Okay guys, quick update. You just saw that time lapse. We're coming along pretty well. Let's go check my phone and see how long we've been going. Now taking into consideration, we have to add five minutes to my timer because I didn't start it until five minutes after we actually started irrigating. Give you a quick little thing of what's going on here. But um, here's what we gotta do. I have over there in that flower pot, I have the um, water timer and or not the water timer the water thing that you measure like that sits in the ground when it rains and stuff so we will stop the water when we think we're getting close which i'll stop at around 25 minutes or so and measure everything out and pour the tuna cans actually into the thing that measures the water since i didn't mark out the tuna cans um let's see real quick we are at 11 minutes and 70 se bruh 70 seconds 11 minutes and 59 seconds sorry anyway is there any other, if you have any questions leave them down below that's really all i have for you but alan from alan's video there is a little bit of a problem he says the tuna cans were an inch and a quarter deep so we will have to measure mine after to see if it was just something he always made a mistake on or if the tuna cans are really messed up Anyway, I'll give you this angle because I never stand out here and make video. And uh, yeah, this is just how everything's looking. So that's and one more thing. The nice thing about these impact sprinklers is, see how it kicks around in this direction like this? I'll wait until it stops and this the end. And then it fires back in the same direction faster. So you're getting double the water on one pass which is also pretty nice now as it clicks around I'll get down here and show you but this dial right here you adjust this this way it gets the stream gets more diluted you adjust it this way the stream gets more pitched and these pins down here actually show you, you gotta move to the other side now it'll actually hit against this the stopper and it'll show it indicate when and where the water needs to stop its pitch and kick back to the next section. So that's pretty interesting. Definitely something that the uh, isolating sprinkler doesn't have. Okay guys, it's been 
21 minutes and add five to that so it's 20 about 26 minutes so we're gonna go ahead here and shut her off and we're gonna go out and actually check our tuna cans and we're gonna start on that side and work our way back to this side so this is exactly what I'm using since I didn't mark the cans it's got half inch down the bottom going all the way up okay so we're gonna walk over here and pop the camera down ah hold on all right there we go now we're gonna take our tuna can and we're gonna dump the water into here to find out that we're at just about a half an inch of water that was one that one was very good that one was just about a half an inch. We're gonna check number two. Just at the half an inch mark. Just a head bit, tear bit over. Dump that one. Moving on to number three. Right here. This one's just below half an inch. Still good though. Number four. Just slightly above a half an inch. As you can see guys, I did not make that data up. You watched me turn the water off and empty out all the cans. Everything was just about a half an inch. Our testing was um, perfectly complete and that just proves to you that the impact sprinkler and your tuna can challenge can do that for you but I wanted to remember one more thing that I forgot from Alan's video is some of you may ask why a half an inch a lot of your products like the prodiamine and any other maybe like grub control or any fertilizers in the summer you put down may need to be watered in and a standard for that would be one half inch so if you have any other questions you can direct them to me in the comments box and Alan and I can take care of answering those but that's all I have for you guys today. With that, I'm Aiden from Azelon Landscaping. Hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of different video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. That's stupid. The tuna can really is an inch and a quarter deep. He wasn't kidding.